Hi, Thea Darlow here with MRP, and today we are doing a comparison of the Digital Max Pro and the new Sandro Dual from OneTech. So, anyone who knows or familiar with the Digital Max Pro or even the Sinusure Elite knows that it's a combination of 755 and 1064 nanometer lasers, so we can treat all skin types of laser hair removal, uh, vascular lesions on the legs, pigment and pigmentation, and also laser facials. So. I wanted to talk about the new Sandro Dual first. So again, it is a 755 and a 1064 nanometer device, but what's special about this is it has a hybrid um, component where we actually blend the 755 and the 1064 together during the same treatment. And this is really key for those people that are um, not so much a 755, they're getting a little dark for that 755, but they don't necessarily need the whole 1064. Kind of like your skin type fours, they kind of sit right there in the middle. And even like the fives with the lighter, um, uh, the, the finer hair. So you can use this hybrid technology to blend your 755 and your 1064 together to create a more customizable treatment for those patients that kind of lie in between. So just to show you a close up of the interface, um, very easy to use, very functional. Um, you have the 755, uh, the 1064, and then that hybrid component. You have a way to go into loaded presets, as well as um, load your own and save your own favorite uh, settings that you use. This is how you determine your cryogen and how much cryogen you release before a pulse and after a pulse, your shot count and then the manipulation and titration of each one of the components in the, in the settings. Um, this lets you know how much cryogen that you have and what's available. And this is your aiming beam that you can um, brighten up or dull down depending on the type of treatment that you're doing. So here's the interface and then here's the hand piece, which is really nice. It's not too big, not too small, kind of sitting right there in the middle. Uh, there's just a small button release on the side, and that's what slides out the spot size, okay? And then you'll just slide it back in and wait for that little click. Okay. Um, our cryogen over here, this is our cryogen canister. It just locks into place. This is what it looks like, and of course, this is a consumable. Uh, depending on how much you use, it varies on, on how long each bottle will last. And then over here, we have all of our spot sizes that we talked about earlier. It's a really nice display of all the different sizes, again, ranging between that two millimeter all the way up to a 20. Similar features, um, in my opinion, not as hi-fi and new and pretty, but we have the ability to change from a YAG to an Alex. Uh, no hybrid right here, but you have your power your pulse width and how fast you can go maxing out of that too just like the Sandro Dual so you can go equally as fast with either or and then here's your cryogen over here uh, for pre and post pulse. So you'll also notice in the cryogen area you have this little um, cryogen canister right here and when you press it it'll let you know how full your canister is. Now we're going to go ahead and fire and the amount of power so you can see them side by side. I go. There we go. That looks better. Those are at the, the same tower. So one of the uh, key components for me is these fibers. And we all know if we've owned one that this is the biggest service repair cost or can potentially be uh, if somebody actually pulls on this too hard and snaps the fiber. So it's a little flimsy, but it's what we've had in the past to hold our fibers. Well, I want you to take a look at the Sandro Dual because this has this beautiful protective umbilical that protects the fibers and keeps our liabilities lower. So while the technology has truly stayed the same over the years, we have found better ways to implement that into our industry with the Sandro Dual. And right now, uh, the Sandro Dual is running about 85,000, and that's brand new with a three year warranty. Um, and just in comparison, again, the General Max Pro runs about 75, and that is refurbished. 
and it has a limited warranty on it as well. 